okay guys most of the time I kind of make it look nice I lug it all in um, and make it look real nice for you I guess it's just my personality my type a personality I like things that look nice but this time I kind of left it organic because I wanted you to see I get a lot of questions asking me well how do you get it how is it now look at these guys I left everything basically the way I found it. If you can see here, this is a great big cardboard box. I think we may start with this box because there's something in here that's getting on my nerves and we'll start here. But this is a huge, gigantic cardboard box. And the items that are in the box technically have not touched the outside of a dumpster. Technically, they haven't touched a dumpster at all because I found this box on top of bags like this. So I'm trying to, you know, set you up visually because, you know, I do have videos taking you guys with me. But, you know, I get the questions. I understand because you probably want to know, do you, all of these things, are they at the bottom? Do you have to grab? Do they actually touch the, you know, container they're in? And to answer your questions, no, they don't. As a matter of fact, the things that kind of do touch, I usually can't reach. And since I don't dive in to get them, they just kind of stay there um, because I can't get in. I think my problem is I'm not afraid to get in. But I find so much stuff not having to, and I think my problem is I'm afraid I'll get stuck in. So if it's not, if I can't reach it, I leave it. So yeah, so let's start with this great big cardboard box, guys. As you can see, huge box just full of stuff. And I'll start with the thing that's getting on my nerves. Look at this, guys. Look at this gorgeous. Let's see. Can y'all see that? It's a beautiful Nicole Miller clock. And it works. Can you hear it? The batteries were already in it, guys. And that little noise. As a matter of fact, I have a clock like this in my foyer that I, you know, use kind of. But that sound, I can't put clocks like this in my bedroom because that sound drives me insane. But it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful ivory color. If you guys can see, the sun is coming out on me. So I hope we don't cast too many shadows. But it is by Nicole Miller. Yeah, Nicole Miller Home. You've seen that before. And here, as you can see. Now, I'm not going to be able to go through probably all the prices because I have a lot of stuff, guys. Seriously, I'm not going to even try to tell you the price. But if I had to guess, I would probably imagine this being maybe $29. And um, they zeroed it out. So, yeah, a beautiful, something that you can sit on a mantelpiece. Gorgeous clock. And I'm probably going to take this out of here because the sound is getting on my nerves. Y'all hold on a minute. Yeah, guys, that clock was working my nerves. I almost felt like I was in some type of Shakespeare play. The tick, tick, it was, you know, I don't like that sound. Okay, so this piece also came, ooh, oops, I'll get that in a minute. So let's just haul these really, really quick. Look at these guys. I picked up these gorgeous baskets. I found a bunch of them, okay? Um, some of them still have the tags attached, and uh, this says that this was listed at $16.99, if you can see that. But I have them in all these beautiful, gorgeous fall colors. Gorgeous basket. Here's a green one. Here's a beautiful orange. Kind of matches my polish. And then, guys, I have, if you can see up here, I have one in a yellow. I have one in brown. I actually have two in yellow and two in brown of this type. Okay. And I'll put these over here. And then on this side, I'll move over a little bit. On this okay, side, guys, on this side, I have uh, different sizes of these gorgeous baskets. Uh, so these don't have the tags on it. A couple of them do have the tags on it, but so maybe they were used for in-store display. This one actually kind of smells like potpourri, so maybe they house something in this. But I have one like that in a beautiful brown, dark color. Here's another one. Okay. Smells like potpourri also in this one, but uh, just a beautiful basket. Y'all have seen tons of those, okay? And then here are two more. This is a smaller size of the first one that I showed you. And then two more of the, um, you know, straw basket. Okay, okay, guys, let's finish going through the box. And I'm going to, I kind of pulled everything out a little bit so it'll help us go a little faster. I found a, a couple of toys. Uh, again, this is the little Disney figurines. You can see that. It's missing two of the little action figures, uh, Finding Nemo. Here are a pair of gargles, transformers, a little Spider-Man car, okay? This is uh, the Soda Stream refills, okay? And here's another little toy. This looks like a tractor, uh, some kind of little die-cast tractor. Uh, John Deere, reminds me of home. 
And also in that box, guys, I found a ton of sunscreen. Now, all of this is well within the expiration date. This doesn't expire until 2015. And guess what, guys? The sun is still shining in Florida. L'Oreal. This is like a spray-on 50 plus, okay? And in different varieties, here's a 30 plus. And I have these packages, the little 50 and that type. And then I have these. I have an entire, this is what was in the box. I have a con, you know entire container of that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. But again, like I said, it still the sun still shines here in Florida, so maybe it's a east, maybe they figured you know we, they won't be selling it. They need to make room for more, so I'll see what I can do with that. And this also came out of that box, guys. Check this out, this beautiful display. Now this is from Cynthia Raleigh. I've been finding a lot of this, guys, of her uh, home items, and it's a you know two tier shelf. And it's almost a translucent, and it has a beautiful, um, like an aqua color. I'll take the bottom of it off so you can see. It has, um, you know, different compartments for you to store things in, possibly your makeup. Uh, but, you know, no chips, not broken or anything, no cracks. And again, it's by Cynthia Rowley, okay? And uh, I think the price on this was $19.99. And then it has the top piece which also has the compartments and has a beautiful little clear translucent little uh, finial on the top and that fits down in here okay yeah so for you a displaying of your makeups maybe your jewelry that's pretty yeah okay and I'm just kind of taking you along that store because this was in that box also some kind of quadro toy I haven't opened it up but I'm sure all the pieces are there um I knew, I would probably save something like this for my nieces and nephews but I have plenty of toys left over for my girl so this will get uh some use out of I'll try to see what I can do with that oh this came out of that also guys look at this look how pretty this is very very pretty and this is Bella Lux is the name of the vendor gorgeous very very heavy uh, I thought maybe it had chips, but no chips. Everything is smooth. It's a beautiful glass. Please, I don't think it's crystal, but a beautiful soap dispenser. Gorgeous. I can't tell the price on that, but really, really nice. And I think, you know, everything works on it. Yeah. Normally when I find things like that, you know, it, it could possibly have a chip, but this has no chips at all. Really, really, really pretty. Yeah. Okay. Here is a pillow. From a store I'm going to show you next. Gorgeous pillow. Now the price on here. They had it listed for 10 bucks. Just a beautiful fall pillow. But this is what happened. I forgot to show you these little uh, containers guys. I picked those up also from Michaels. Uh, I'm not sure if they had tops. Or if they went to a drawer maybe. It almost looks like it went to some kind of display or drawer. Uh, but here's, you know, one in a pretty purple and one and two in a red. Two in purple and two in red. Just some nice storage bins. Uh, my crafters at my flea market just buy things like this. I don't even have to know what it's for. Because it's storage. You know, if you're a crafter, you store a lot of things. And if these are your colors, so, yeah. Somebody will pick that up for me, from me. And then look at this, guys. Now, this there was a dumpster load of this stuff. I just decided to just grab... Uh, four of them. I'm already using one of these. This is from Staples and It's this It's current to this year, but you know, we only have a few short months left in this year and The one I have upstairs actually has the calendar in it. I just took this because actually you can buy the uh, Replacements each year, you know in Staples or order it online if you wanted a new calendar, but you know, that's the actual portfolio case at a glance. You guys have seen those. I'm using one of these already. And then they had this also, and it was just seriously, I don't know, a hundred or so of these. Yep, I only picked up a couple of them from the top. And the reason why I actually got this, because this actually has a 2015 calendar in the back. So until I fix my calendar for 2015, 
I can actually use that up until, uh, you know, until I get my calendar for next year. Yep. And then a little small one also with a cute motif of pears. Very, very nice. 2014. But it does have the two bonus months in the full calendar in this. So I also have January and February of next year in here. And then in the very back, if you, you know, still wanted to look around for calendars, it has a complete at a glance year for 2015 in it. Yep. Okay. Then I found some hanging folders, the frame. Yep. For like an office that came from there also. And guys, this came in this bag right here. I kind of opened the bag. I'll show you because I, I I did it so I did it like this because I want you to see how I get it. So somebody tell me, well, how does it look? This was a bag like this, and because I can't see through this one like I normally do, I just kind of punctured it, punctured it, and found that it was just loaded with free stuff. So let's see what we found in here. We can start off with some little tie backs, two little tie backs out of their original packaging. Yep, um, you know. You just mount that and just kind of use it as a tie back. So I have two of those and a bronze. Okay. Here is a set, uh, a three-piece bath towel set. Okay. In a beautiful white color. Very nice. No marks. No, you know, I thought maybe because it had like a stain on it, but there's nothing on this guy. It's never been used. Really, really pretty. It's a bath towel, a hand towel, and a washcloth. Yep, and that's all from that curtain place. And here's something, um, a little swag pair of a um, little bistro curtain almost in a beautiful gold color. Here's a panel or two. This one is a 64-inch panel. Uh, I'm not sure if it's one or two in here. Uh, I'm trying to see. Oh, it's just one panel. Yeah, one panel, 54 by 86 in that design. Looks like it could have possibly been a return or, yeah. Cute design, though, but it is only one panel. But you never know. Somebody may have a small window, kind of like the ones, you know, in my, you know, that are next to my fireplace that you would only need one and then possibly use a tie back with it anyway. So there you go. You never know. Uh, here is a another 63 inch panel in like a gold color. Here's a little flower clip in pink. Okay, we're getting rid of some spring things. Here is a little butterfly or a dragonfly in blue. Still in its original package. Uh, here's a little rug. A little outdoor rug. And here it says fringe on it. So I guess it, you know, that little fringe here. That little fray, if you can see that. Okay. But seriously, guys, that I would just cut that and stick it out on on the um, stick it out. This was listed at five. Oh, here's another little fringe also here. I would just cut the fringes out and stick it out. It still has the original package on it, never been used. And I'm actually using one that I found from the same store in a color that matches my like kind of coming into the garage. I use it out in the garage. Um, yeah, and it's flat enough that my door can close. So. Yeah, I'll use that. Or I'll, you know, make good use of it. Here is some kind of um, napkin. This maybe have to be a dust rag, though, because that's kind of fringed up, as you can see. So I'll save that to dust with that. And then, guys, I found some more little tie backs. I thought there were two in here. Oh, I guess the other one will come up. This little tie back in green with a little ball. And then guys, here is a fashion 
sofa, uh, sofa, a fashion toilet seat and things like that, guys, because this is technically in its original package. Um, the bolts are still like in the little plastic. Somebody might buy that. Uh, I'll sit it out to see. But again, guys, I do donate to places like, um, you know, senior care centers. They don't really care. They, you know, the bolts are still, nobody even tried to use that. It's still sealed. So the fear of somebody possibly, you know, using that toilet seat, but nobody used that. I think it was just because of packaging. And, you know, we'll see. Sometimes I turn my nose up and say, ew, but somebody else may say, wow, okay, I'll buy that from a couple of bucks from you. Okay, guys. I saved the bag, actually, so when you ask the question, how do I get it, this was just like this. I think I've thrown a couple of more things in here from other stores, but generally, this was just a bag that I could see through, see what's on it. It was sitting on top of other bags uh, with plastics and, um, you know, things they were getting rid of, but yeah, I just picked it up, and that's how I'm able to go so quick. I know a lot of you don't really, um, you know, you might not be able to understand that, that you just kind of grab and go, and that's what I do. This actually came from another store. That's a charger, an open charger. Here are some open diapers. Yeah, things like this kind of make me sad, really. And because, um, you know, there are people who need things like this. And I still say there should be a different way in order to get rid of things like that. Here's some kind of little, the burger. I don't know if this is a game or fantastic recipe book. 25 dynamite recipes. Okay. And it, it, has, it includes a burger press in it. Um, another universal adapter. Here's a little Hello Kitty cup. Yeah, I know I have plenty of straws for these insulated cups. I got a lot of toys, guys. Little Power Ranger car. Here is a freestyle frisbee. Here's an Iron Man. Cute little Sunnies in pink. Yeah, sitting on the beach with that. That's cute. Here's a belt. And this is, there you go. And you would be shocked. I'm not sure what size this is, but um, this is a size large, so, and it's in blue. Very, very nautical feel. Okay? Yep. I guess because it's, you know, spring, summer. Some more goggles. Here is... Um, Looks like a sunglass case. See if any sunglasses are in here. I don't think so. No sunglasses in there, but just the case. A pair of earmuffs. Some more sunscreen. Here is a strong twisted gel by Matrix. Some more of this tape, little crafting tapes. Another toy, guys, a little transformer toy. And these might do well, guys, online, actually. Yeah, I may have to really look these up now that I think about it, because there are people who collect those things. Here is a showcase... Uh, a backseat iPad case, you know, so your little child can use your iPad as he's, um, you know, driving around with you. Another little swim snorkeling set. Here is a Nerf clip full auto soaker, so a big sun soaker or a uh, water soaker by Nerf. Oh, look at this. This is a Motorola plug and play. A digital auto baby monitor. Yeah, somebody would be glad to get that. I thought the price was on it. 
And look, it's still factory seal. The little plastic is still on here. Never been used, guys. By Motorola. So that's it for that bag, I think. Oh, here's another little charger or some kind of adapter. Oh, this is what I smell. I thought I smelled perfumey stuff. Here is some gentle uh, eye makeup remover. Okay. The top wasn't on it good. I thought I yeah, smelled something. Eye makeup remover by that vendor. So we should see what's going on with that. And then, guys, after I get finished... Here's a great bag to recycle. I recycle all these big bags. I cannot tell you the last time I bought garbage bags because I either find them new, the good kind also, from dent boxes. I cannot tell you the last time I bought sunscreen. I cannot tell you the last time I bought soap because I've been using body washes now. My husband likes body washes. So it really saves me, guys. It really does. Here's another bag from that same store. So this was all in one place, all in one store, everything in the bag, with the exception of the smaller things I kind of threw in. Here is another transformer. I'm re No, this is a Power Ranger. I'm actually going to go online and research that and see if this is worth anything. So, before I just kind of haphazardly give it to my little nephew and nieces. Uh, now, this is a beautiful piece. Okay? Nice design in white. And... The price, no price on here. I can't really see it, but yeah. Really nice. I don't know if it was the kind. I think it might have been the kind to stand up. It's missing that little piece, but again, on a wall, like in a bathroom. I think that would be pretty. Too pretty to be trashed, right? Here is uh, a thermometer outdoor. I think I might save that for myself for next year. Yeah, something to stick out in the garden. Here's a workforce or work farce, some kind of comical game with 50 career cards. Okay, here's some kind of little fashion book for girls. The rest of these guys seem like they are toys. Oh, here's some little lipstick. I'm not lipstick, little uh, fingernail polish for little girls. I'm glad Mirabella's not here to see this. Another thing, guys, I just have to... Cause you, it's so easy to hoard this stuff and say, oh, I'll use it, I'll use it. How many fingernail polishes do you really, really need? Look at this, guys. A little red dustpan. And, guys, this is made in Italy. Yep. Cute little dustpan. It almost looks like maybe for a fireplace. No, but it's coated, though. I don't know, but that's cute. I like that. I wonder, can you roast something on this? Designed and made in Italy. No, it's just a dustpan. A beautiful, charming dustpan in red. Here's some kind of open box. More little makeups. Little nail design art for a little girl. Now, I might let her use that because it's already open. And I know I won't be able to, you know, something for her to play with. As long as it's not, you know, steel factory seal. She can use something like that. Oh, the fashion looms. It's amazing. Last year this time, you could not find this stuff. Now this is all I find. More sunscreen. Another little Iron Man. A cute sandal in a size 3. Let's see if we can find... Look, never been used. Let's see if we can find the mate. Here's another cute little pair of penguin sandals. These are cute for a little boy. Aren't those adorable? Size 12. Yeah. So cute. Here's some little stems that I will incorporate... In my home, probably. Things like this I like. Very, very nice. Two stems. And I was trying to see the price on these because, guys, this stuff isn't cheap. A lot of times I'm really shocked to see how much the live, the real uh, 
because this kind of has that you know real live look you'd be shocked at how much and probably not that's probably why they end up in the trash nobody's paying that much for them look at this Mirabella had a rainbow loom birthday party uh, last year and I went out and bought about 10 of these things two of those here is a nerf uh, some kind of zombie strike little nerf thing Another Iron Man, some more water goggles, another pair, four, more sunscreen, here are the actual rubber bands for the Rainbow Loom, here comes some kind of little goblin sign, here are a whole bunch more of these little tapes. And they all have... And guys, look at these. This was also in that collection of things that I found at that Marshalls. These are Ivanka Trumps. And perfectly in great, great shape. Um, who knew? First of all, I didn't know that Miss Ivanka's stuff was high-end. I really did not. Uh, you can tell I don't shop like I used to, especially with fashion. This is in a size 6, I think. Yeah, size 6. But a cute nude pointed toe flat by Ivanka Trump as you can see on the inside a very very good greatly made shoe I did some research on this guys and her her items are not cheap to say the least this was going for $59.99 in Marshalls you can tell my retail days are kicking in that means that that was $59.99 uh, but I think that uh, in Marshalls, they were $59.99, and they, you know, they took them down so until they just threw them away. But these retail guys for over 100 Yeah, I think these were listed at $129. Very, very cute, though. If they were my size, I would rock them. A cute little pointed toe. Flat. Never been worn outdoors. You can tell people were trying them on, but yeah. Very, very, very beautiful. And I just love the nude. Yep. Okay, guys, we've come to the final uh, phase. Uh, in addition to finding stuff, I love finding containers because I use them with selling. Even without the tops on them, I've learned just to grab the container because I could possibly find the top. But when I'm packing up at my flea market, I actually have ladies who ask me, how much are you selling this for? And this is a container without anything on it. But... Like I said, I cannot tell you the last time I bought shampoo and things like that. So I'm going to go through all of this top-notch shampoo and conditioners with you. There's something from that brand. Here's some Matrix. Here is some Reckons. Okay. And you all know the retail price on all of this stuff. Here's some Wella. So I have high-end, and then I have just some low-end things. This is some U-Finish hairspray without the top. Here is some AG Style Conditioner and Shaving Lotion. Okay, Let's see if my husband wants to use that. Here's a little bit of Bedhead Conditioner. Haven't heard of this before. This is called Hair Crack. A habit forming hair fix. <laughs> you have to look that up. Never heard of that. Here is a little clipper that's out of this package. And here is some rich black shampoo. Adds color instantly. Okay. And then, guys, these little cute, these are called cheer cheeks chicks. Cheer Chicks, a shampoo and a conditioner. Yeah, that is it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me move this out of the way. It's making me sound like I'm in a tunnel. Okay, guys, that's it. I appreciate you watching. I hope that I have made you think about finding free stuff in a little bit different way. Um, I, I don't bring it as much as I used to because guess what? I got to clean all this stuff up again. Ugh.
But I enjoy bringing it to you. And if it makes just one person think about doing what I do a little bit different, it's worth it to me. So thanks for watching, guys. Y'all enjoy your weekend. Okay, thanks for watching my free find Friday. Bye, guys.